What's up, guys? It is December the 12th, 2013, and my name is Rasim Muratovic, and you are watching the Ross Murtek Talk Live show. Now, this is a daily show, Monday through Friday. I'll try to start them around 8 p.m. Eastern time. I might miss a few days, so if you guys don't see me one day, you know, I'll probably be uh, doing it the next day. But I'll, I'll try to keep it consistent, but, you know, things come up. So, again, I, I might miss a, a day here and there. But um, this show is geared towards IT, computer-related topics. So if you guys are into that IT, computer-related stuff, this is the right place for you. I also talk about technology. I love technology, and I do unboxings and reviews. So you're free to ask me questions about any of those topics. And... Um, I'll answer you guys' questions at the end of the show. But, uh, yeah, so today's topic will be what is in my networking tool bag. So I have a networking tool bag. I use it for my da daily job. And um, I do a lot of wiring, uh, setting up patch panels and cutting cable, crimping cables and stuff like that. So I need a networking tool bag. I use my tools almost every day. So... I'm going to get to that in a second, but uh, there's a few things I want to talk about. I will be starting an Android development series soon, approximately next week. I'll, I'll start uh, the classes this week, but I'll, I'll, throw, I'll throw them all out next week. So if you do, uh, or if you are interested, please follow me on Google+. Plus. I'll notify you there. I'll, I'll push out some notifications, letting you know exactly what's going on. And uh, what, else, what else am I going to talk about? Okay, my webcam here. I just brought this webcam and I did an unboxing of the webcam. The unboxing, uh, I haven't edited the unboxing yet, but it should be out later on today. I love this webcam. It is a Logitech C920 HD Pro webcam, and it sh and it uh, shoots at 720, 1020, and uh, some other formats. But it's freaking amazing. As you can see, I'm using it right now, and the picture quality is just amazing. So. It's under a hundred bucks. I figured, you know, I must get it, and it will help with my uh, daily uh, web publishing content. So, gotta have it, and it's under a hundred bucks. All right, so let's get started with what's in my tool bag. So, what is in my tool bag? I have it right here. Let me move the water out of the way. I don't want to spill it all over the place. So, let me move this out of the way. Uh, this thing's freaking heavy, so my <laughs> desk is wobbling. But let's first open up this part here. All right. Here I have. Okay. This is a Trident. This is a like a cable tester. I don't know if you can see it. This is a cable tester. It tests cable. It'll test uh, Cat5, Cat6. RJ45, all that type of cables. You need one of these. Without one of these, you're you're when you cut a cable and crimp a cable, you don't know if the cable is uh, cut correctly or or if it's mispaired. You need one of these. Otherwise, you, you'll just have a headache. Let's say you cut and crimp ten cables, and uh, you didn't use one of these testers, and uh, you have a problem somewhere. Good luck finding the problem. <laughs> So those are cable testers. Those are pretty cool. You must have those. If you're interested, I'll put a link to this in my description. What else do I have? I have a crimper. This is RJ45 crimper here. You must have this. Again, I have a few of those. A uh, screwdriver that has multi-sides, multi... -sides, multi uh, bits here. You need one of these. Always, always good to have a good screwdriver around. Uh, what else do I have? All right. If you guys are into like electrician networking type stuff, if you're into networking, Fluke is the best company. Fluke, Fluke Networks. I'm sorry, is the best company out there. They make that the highest quality stuff, and I highly, highly recommend it. I, I use all their stuff all the time. This here is their like. Uh, holder here. You can buy this separately. I'm going to leave a link for this in my description as well. But here, this is a uh, wire cutter, a fluke wire cutter. You put the cable in here and just cut cut the jacket off. A pair of electrician scissors here. 
if you're cutting cable, you need one of these electrics and scissors. This is hardened steel, so it cuts through cable like butter. All right, so this is another fluke item here. This here is a fluke punch down tool. If you're working with patch panels or uh, punching down jacks, you need one of these. I use this a lot. Again, I'll, I'll put uh, the product linked in the description if you're interested. This I brought separately. This is like the holder you, you clip on your belt. Makes life easier if you're if you're on a ladder. Most of the time you're on a ladder, and you don't want to go up and down the ladder to grab one of your tools. You just throw them all in here. You could even put a uh, mag light here, flashlight, and you're good to go. You know, you don't have to climb up and down the ladder. What else do I got? I have a beam tester here. Very important. Now, when you're um, running cable down the wall, you need to test for beams. Without uh, testing for beams, if you don't test for the beams, you're going to start cutting holes blind. And then uh, you, then you, you could cut a hole right next to a beam and then make a lot of mistakes. So with this, you're able to find the beam, and it make, makes life easier. It makes life simple. Now let's open this up. I have here a telephone butt set, another fluke item. I love fluke again. They make the highest quality items. They also make items for electrician. If you're an electrician, you, you know about Fluke. And they, they, they're just highest quality you could get. You know, they're pretty pricey, but they're, they're long lasting. This thing you could drop off a freaking roof and it'll still work. Now, a butt set is used to test phone lines. When you're, when you're uh, running phone lines, you want to test them. You have alligator clips here, and you could test the lines. So, must have. Again, I'll put all these items in my description if you're interested. All right, what else we got here? All right, I got some um, Cat 5 and Cat 6 jacks. These are uh, jacks you make, and uh, you uh, use a punch-down tool to uh, punch down the wire, right? And then uh, you get a faceplate. Then when you're running a cable from uh, through your wall, Connect this to the faceplate, and then you got a jack, a RJ45 Cat5 jack. You must have these. I'll leave a link to all of, all of my wholesalers, all the places I, I get great deals, but they're also great quality. I'll leave a link for you guys if you're interested. What else we got here? Can't leave home without a measuring tape. You, you, you never know when you're going to need one. They're inexpensive, so you might as well get a measuring tape. Put this over here. This thing I think it was like three bucks. It's a uh, Stanley a leveler, little leveler. Again, you never know when you're gonna need it. This comes in handy all the time. You can't have enough electrician electrical tape. Oops, sorry. You can't have enough of this electrical tape. You're always gonna need it. You always, you're always, always gonna need it. So it's always good to have extra electrical tape. Rip that off here. Now, what else we got? All right, these are the face plates for these jacks here. The face plates. After you, uh, you punch down your jacks here, you clip the other end of the, of the jack to this here, and you just screw this on your wall. Good to go. Some more of this electrical tape. Always, always use it. More face plates. Again, more electrical tape. Always, always need electrical tape. Wire ties. Another crimper, RJ45 cable crimper. You can't have too many of these. Alright. This has to be my favorite uh, networking tool. It's another Fluke Networks item. Sorry. It's another Fluke Networks item. And this is a uh, toner and probe. Without this, you running uh, cable is a nightmare, and you're lost without this. So what this does is, uh, let's say you ran a cable. With this item here, 
uh, let's say you ran 10 cables, right? Now you want to figure out what uh, a specific cable. You, you'll connect that cable from one end, and then you take this here, you turn it on. Uh, this sends out a pulse, a specific signal that this can pick up. All you have to do is walk around waving this, and, and you, you go to wherever the other end of the cables are, and where uh, once it gets next to the cable, it starts making noise, and uh, you can you could isolate any cable that you want with this, and it's freaking cool. It's, it's not just a cable isolator. Isolator, uh, you can also use this to test the cable whether the cable is uh, good and it's not uh, mispaired, and it, it's freaking amazing. I think I got this for like $180. It's worth every penny. I recently, well, not recently, but a couple months ago. I did a big uh, data cabling job at, at a supermarket, and uh, I used this, and I swear to God, it it made my life so much easier because uh, they uh, remodeled the store, and uh, they shifted all their registers over to one to another side, and all the cables were run from the upstairs. They had an upstairs office through the basement back up to the store level, and uh, one, uh, once they moved the cables. I'm sorry, once they moved the registers, they cut all the cables. Now, without this, I would never have been able to find those cables and just uh, fix them, basically, and uh, run them to their, to their correct place. So this saved me hours of time. So I love this, and I'll also leave this in the description if you're interested. All right, I just created a little mountain here of parts and stuff. Uh, what is this? This here is a... Converter. It's uh, you. You can add this to like different devices if you want to convert analog to like whatever. I I, I rarely use it, but I have it in my bag. All right. What I don't have in my bag, and give me a second, I'm gonna grab it now. I haven't got a chance to restock my bag. What I like to do is if I find a good price on uh, networking stuff, I'll stock up. So if I see it's a great price, I'll stock up. I have a closet full of stuff like this. So I forgot to uh, refill my bag with uh, these are little like uh, cranks. Uh, I don't know what you call them, like pulleys. There you go. These are pulleys. I'll explain what a pulley does in a second. Let me just put this down here. All right. So these are pulleys, right? With these, you most of the time you're running cable through like drop ceilings. And most of the time, if you're if you're a data cabler, you're, you're you're working in like an office setting, and you're running cables through a drop ceiling, which is the best uh, best scenario. So what this is, it's a pulley, right? You once you get in the drop ceiling, you um, zip tie this to the top, one end to the other. If you're running a lot of cables, you could run ten cables at one time through this. All you have to do is tie some twine to one end, one end of the cable. Tie it, tie it to as many cables as you want to pull at the same time. As long as you have like, let's say ten. If you're going to pull ten cables and you have ten boxes of uh, the RJ45 and you're pulling them all at one time, you you uh, tie it to the twine, you put it through the pulley, and then you use another pulley at the other end. You pull it through, you pull the twine through the other pulley, and you can just pull in all those cables at one time, and it. It makes life easier, so this is this definitely recommended if you're going to be running cable through ceiling. This here is a wire cone. I love this. If you're running, if you're uh, running uh, cables to like a data center or a patch panel, and you're you're running like 20, 30 cables, this this thing here, what it does is uh, you f you put those cables in. Once you get them in, you hook this thing on. You pull them and, and it will straighten the cables out and it will make them really neat. So then you could tie like uh, zip ties or whatever. Velcro. I recommend Velcro. I try to use zip ties only when I need to use them. Like if I don't have Velcro. But I highly recommend you use Velcro. I would. I normally have Velcro on me but I used it all up. 
Velcro is easy to use. You don't have to worry about uh, straining the cable or breaking the cable. And um, if, if you're adding cable, you can easily just op open it up and close it back up, and you won't ha you won't have to worry about you cutting the cable. So recommend this here. I'll put this in my description as well. A little phone port here, just in case you never know. These here are very inexpensive. They're like fifty cents each. These are like fifty cents each. Sorry. These are used as like fitters in your wall when you cut a hole for your uh, where is that for your uh, cable and jack for your faceplate and jack. You have to use this first. You have to first cut that hole. Uh, place this in the hole. Push this down here. You push this down. Sorry. Push this down. This should be here. Push this down, and you use like a uh, wrench or a channel lock or something, right? And you like squeeze it. And it'll squeeze uh, this part of the wall and this part of the wall, and it'll just stay in. So this this is like a guard. And then with this, you you're able to screw in the faceplate onto your wall. So you must have. I like to stock up on these. I forget the exact name. There's a, there's an exact name, but I forgot what they call these, but. Helpful. Now this is called a J hook. Now if you're running cable through a ceiling, neatness is everything. When you're doing data cable, anytime you're running cable, neatness is everything. And it's really important. These J hooks you can screw anywhere, basically in a wall, ceiling, and uh, if you're running a lot of cable, you instead of uh, straining the cable, you can rest them. You can screw this in a wall and rest the cable on this here, so it doesn't have a, it's not strained, and it, it's it makes it look a lot neater. So I, I keep these in stock. What else? All right, so that's yeah, pretty much it. I think I covered everything. I, what I don't have on me, and I keep it in my trunk of my car, I like to keep uh, uh, fiberglass fish rods. Fiberglass fish rods are used. You can use them for everything. What I like to do is uh, if I'm running cable, let's say I drill a hole, and I want the cable to go through that hole, what I do is I'll... Uh, I'll tie, um, I'm sorry, I'll get some electrical tape, tape uh, one end of the cable to the fish rod, right, tape it, push down, push the fish rod right into the, to that hole, and, and you can, uh, comes with, I think, a, three parts that you can screw to make it bigger, and uh, you can keep, uh, you can buy more than build a bigger rod, but uh, you keep screwing it as, as much as you need it, and then you go to the other side, somebody could be on the bottom pulling it or you can just go locate wherever your fish rod is and just pull it from the other side so very useful fish rods are very very useful and what else uh, yeah that's pretty much it so right now I don't have any viewers I do have a viewer but I don't see any questions right now so I haven't figured out how to view questions actually so once I do I'll let you know if I have any right now um. Hmm. I guess not. All right. So, since I don't have any questions now, I'm gonna cut this short. Again, I will be doing these Monday through Friday. I'll try to do them as consistent as I could possibly do them. But some days I might miss. So, if I if you don't, if you don't see me one day, I'll probably do it the next day because things always come up. Again, I'm Rasim Mertsovic, and you are watching Ross Mertek Talk Live, and I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.